Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Rohit Tech. Today in this video I am going to show you, how to hacking anything Metasploit. First of all let me tell you that this video is only for education purpose. All the process of this video has been done on virtual machine. The purpose of this video is only that how you can make your system more secure. If someone does hacking through this video then he himself is responsible for it. I am using two virtual machines, one of Kali Linux, and second one is Metasploit. Go to Kali Linux. Kali Linux is our hacking machine and Metasploit machine is victim machine. Now I am going to check IP address on this machine. Open terminal. Let's increase font size. Type if config. Press enter. Our Kali machine IP address is 192.168.231.139. Go to Metasploit machine. MSF admin is our user. Press enter. Username and password also same, MSF admin. Now clear the screen. Press enter. Type here, if config. Press enter. Our Metasploit machine IP address is 192.168.231.141. Now I am going to check communication between both machine. Type ping space, IP address of Kali machine. Press enter. Now our Kali Linux is pinging. Press Ctrl C. Go to Kali Linux. Type ping space, IP address of Metasploit machine. Press enter. Now our Metasploit machine is pinging. Press Ctrl C. Now clear the screen. After checking both machine connectivity, the first step of an attack is called reconnaissance, which means collecting and discovering information, so let's scan the target for vulnerabilities using an map. Type here, sudo nmap hyphen a and the target's IP address. 192.168.231.141 Press enter. Type password here. Press enter. In a real case scenario, hackers will do the same. They will scan for vulnerabilities, and if there are any, they will try to exploit those vulnerabilities. The nmap report shows important information about the services that are running their version and the vulnerabilities. As you can see there are lots of vulnerabilities. Let's focus on VSFTPD version 2.3.4, which seems vulnerable. This vulnerability will provide us with a root shell using a backdoor command execution. I'm starting the console by running msf console. Press enter. Type search vsftpd. Press enter. Type info 0. Press enter. I had to do use 0 here instead of info 0, that's why it is not working properly. Type, use space 0. Press enter. Type here, 
Show options. Press Enter. As you can see, there are two options, Hosts and Port. Hosts is the target or the victim's IP address. Type, Set, Our Host. Target IP address 192.168.231.141. Press Enter. The final step is to run. Press Enter. It found the shell. Opened a session, in the target was hacked. Type here, if config. Press Enter. As you can see, this is our Metasploit machine IP address, this means Metasploit system is hacked. Type ID. Press Enter. Type ls slash root slash. I am going to create a text file on hacked Metasploit machine for testing purpose. Go to hacked Metasploit machine. Now clear the screen. Type, sudo, ls, slash root. Press enter. Type password here. Press enter. Type, sudo, cat, slash root slash, h.txt. Press enter. As you can see, our file is shown, this means system gets compromised. Go to Kali Linux. Press Ctrl C to close hack session. Press Y then press Enter. Type Exit. Press Enter. Type Exit again. Press Enter. So viewers in this video you can learn, how to hack target computer with Metasploit. Thanks for watching this video. Please like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for latest updates.